Forrest Gump, his first role since he won an Oscar for his work in Philadelphia, Hank shares a scene with a real American legend, President John F. Kennedy. Sound impossible? Well, you're about to see the high-tech handiwork that wove Hanks into the fabric of American history. It's a Dateline state-of-the-art. Who in the hell is that? And there's Forrest Gump, coach. Just a local idiot. In the movie, Tom Hanks plays an endearing, slow-talking, slow-witted Southerner whose somewhat less-than-ordinary IQ never prevents him from leading an extraordinary life. Mama says stupid as a stupid does. And when his football coach says, take the ball and run, he does. All the way to the White House. You know that Forrest Gump is a is a uh, all-American football player at one point means that he could be invited to the White House at the time and meet John F. Kennedy as as one of the uh, White House, you know, uh, as one of the all-American football players. That that's that's really true. But bringing him to the White House brought the filmmakers to their first dilemma: how to join together two of the most recognizable faces in America. Well, you're definitely walking on the razor's edge when you start something like this because. Once you commit to putting Tom Hanks in the same frame with someone like JFK, it has to be right on. To achieve this bit of movie magic, Bob Zemeckis went looking for answers. Technically, I don't know how you do that. Some, some you know, computer weenies uh, somewhere up in Northern California figure this thing kind of out. Good afternoon, ILM. Northern California, home to ILM, industrial light and magic. The same people who brought dinosaurs to life in Jurassic Park. I went to the my uh, guys up at ILM and said, uh, is it possible, do you think, that we could do this? We would say, sure, Bob, we can do that, and hope we could pull it off later. The movie magic began with archival film shot of Kennedy in the White House. The film was loaded into the computer, and Kennedy was digitally lifted out of every frame. But before these 1960s images of Kennedy could be used in a 1990s film, Tom Hanks needed to be filmed in a way that would work with the old footage. How am I supposed to do that? <laughs> well, you know, Bob never really told us exactly how, how, how complex these things were going to be. And shake, 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 and pause. But never <laughs> Oh, that's so much <laughs> easier. <laughs> Hanks needed to be filmed through a process called blue screen. Filming in front of a blue screen allows the filmmaker to replace the blue area with another image. In this case, the Oval Office and John Kennedy. But acting inside a blue screen effect can be difficult and often tedious for the actor. They put it on a loop and you do it over and over again and they tell you where to look and when to turn and when to shake hands, you know. Shake, 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 okay. Ready? And turn and shake, shake, shake. You know, it's like, uh, I'm an automaton. I'm, I'm, I'm howdy doody all of a sudden here. Just, just put strings on me so I can at least take a nap and I don't actually, actually have to think while I'm doing all this stuff. But it's got to be that rhythm that they're doing it, Tom. Shake, shake, shake. With the blue screenshots completed, the film is turned over to ILM. And now, Tom's image is isolated frame by frame. His cutout, sized to match Kennedy. His eyes lined up with Kennedy's. And his hand placed in the proper position to create the handshake. Next, a recreation of the Oval Office is shot for the background. It's shot in color and converted to black and white by ILM so the shadings match the shot of JFK. Tom Hanks and John Kennedy are pasted over this new background, creating a memorable picture of a meeting that could never have happened. I say something to John F. Kennedy that has never, I don't think has ever been said to John F. Kennedy on film, and he answers me uh, in a way that he has never answered anything, you know, in the way on film. And I, I couldn't figure out how that was even possible. What Tom couldn't figure out is how this line he delivered to a Kennedy sound alike. How about you? Uh, how do you feel? I have to pay could be answered by the real 35th president of the United States. Working with another piece of archival footage, this time a shot of Kennedy turning back towards the camera, the team at ILM had to find a way to manipulate the mouth so it seemed to be saying words recorded by the Kennedy impersonator. If uh, the mouth is not done exactly right, people will see that there's something wrong with it because they know how these people look. They've seen them for years. To get it right, the mouth was manipulated syllable by syllable, frame by frame, redrawn on the computer to match Kennedy as closely as possible. Now, this process doesn't sound like much, but you have to realize it took six months to make that shot work. And here's how the acting of Tom Hanks, the direction of Bob Zemeckis, and the effects wizardry of ILM all came together. 
Now, the really good thing about meeting the President of the United States is the food. They put you in this little room with just about anything you'd want to eat or drink. And since, number one, I wasn't hungry but thirsty, and number two, they was free, I must have drank me about 15 Dr. Peppers. Congratulations. How does it feel to be an All-American? It's an honor, sir. Congratulations. How does it feel to be an All-American? Very good, sir. Congratulations. How does it feel to be an All-American? Very good, sir. Congratulations. How do you feel? I got to pay. <laughs> I believe he said he had to go pee. <laughs> the first time I saw one that was completely finished, uh, I, yeah, it was unbelievable. I, I, having done it, I looked at Bob and said, how did you do, how did you do that? After seeing himself on film having a conversation with John Kennedy, as well as with Presidents Johnson and Nixon... So are you enjoying yourself in our nation's capital, young man? We asked Tom if it worried him that someday he might be seeing himself on screen opposite a young actor in, say, an ad for an off-brand soda pop. And that would be the worst possible tragedy imaginable. And you can see Tom Hanks starring in Forrest Gump when it opens in theaters next Wednesday, July 6th.